Good evening, Knights. Welcome to your nightly news team. Starting off, we're going to start with special events. Next Friday, we have a play at 6.30 and a play at 6.30 on Saturday as well. On Saturday, we have a booster auction at Josephine County Fairgrounds. And on Monday, we have a band fundraiser at Mod Pizza. Now into sports with Eric. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we have uh, speech and debate national qualifiers. Our qualifiers are Jamie Shepard and Hunter Wright, so congrats to them. Uh, Monday, there's a baseball game. Uh, all JV and varsity are home versus Elmira. Tuesday is a track meet at Brookings versus Brookings. And um, Wednesday is a golf invitational versus the Cascade Christian. It is a home golf invitational. And Thursday, there's a track meet versus GP at GP. On to out of school activities with Sam. This week's out of school activities include Relentless Athletics, Legion in the Library, College Dream, Woodshop, Baking, Drums, Yoga, Homework Help, Art Club, Wings, Drone Club, Check Mail, Video Game Club. Have a good, Have good day, day nights. While the spread of the coronavirus is definitely troubling, we must remind ourselves that fear and rumors and stigma do nothing to help prevent the spread of the disease. Science and facts, proven public health measures, and common sense precautions are the best measures we can take to protect ourselves and the people we care about. Some universal precautions include coughing into your elbow, don't touch your face. And finally, washing your hands correctly and regularly. What we've decided to do for you is a demonstration using some uh, glow germ gel. We're going to rub all of that into our hands and then we're going to see how to correctly wash our hands. So as you can see, we all have rubbed in lotion and you can see that, that with the black light that it's hiding in lots of crevices here. You can see there's a lot right there, but we can't see it, right? Normally, a virus, we're not going to be able to see where it's all hiding. Look at those fingernails. Look at all up in there. Okay, so we're going to see how to wash our hands and get that completely taken care of. Happy birthday to you. A-K-L-M-N-O-P. Q R S T U V W U X Y and Z. One, two, three. Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! So now we'll see how everybody did washing their hands and as you can see it looks like for the most part everybody did a pretty good job of getting all that stuff off but you saw how much scrubbing had to happen so you have to really be diligent when you're washing your hands and take your time and make sure you're covering everywhere especially around the nails in reviewing what we need to do is be super diligent in washing our hands and to do that we're gonna wet our hands, use lots of soap, sing the ABCs while you wash, or any other tune that comes to mind, rinse your hands with warm water, and towel dry your hands off before you eat anything. Other times that you need to wash your hands or if you feel the need to touch your face, you should wash your hands before and after. Or any time you cough, sneeze, blow your nose, or use the bathroom. After touching dirty tissues or paper towels. And just plain when your hands are dirty. 